Hey little guy, what are you doing? Hey guys, it's your boy Nat Sharky Shorten back for another episode of Fisherman's Diary. Here with a guest today who's never featured on the channel before. Uh, we're going fishing at the Little Creek. I tried to fish a little while ago. I'll throw some footage in here. Oh wow, that is a cool rock. It is a rock. That is a very cool rock. How much do you reckon this costs to make? It's the quiet zone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a quiet place. Shh. It's a labyrinth. It's not really a labyrinth when you can see exactly what you're trying to get to, is it? I don't I know mean, if that meets the definition of labyrinth necessarily. Enjoy the, the journey. Path is all but you can just stuff. jump path, whatever. Alright, look, we're fishing today. We're gonna try and catch anything we can. I'm here with a guest, Sinead, who's never been on the channel before. First time. So hopefully she's good luck. Usually with new people. That is one superstition I do have out of all of them, is new people are either good luck or bad luck. And then if they're bad luck, I never see them again, so better cross those fingers. Let's hope that we can get amongst a couple of fish today. Fuck, all right, here we are. See? There's, there's a fair bit of uh, grass and shit, would you say? I don't know what you're talking about. There's a fish just there though. Fuck yeah. So that's a good sign. That is a good sign. That's a great sign. Let's try and catch some fish. Hey, we can sit on the edge of these like depressed emo teens as oh well. Oh god, yes. Tiny little fucking hole in the water. It's like ice fishing except it's grass. <laughs> All right, come on, baby. Oh, good. It's a good start. Oh, not quite. Oh. And, nope, nope, oh, fuck, so close. This is going well. I'm starting to feel like you might be bad luck, mate. You know what? Fuck, it's deep. It's still going. What? It's like two meters deep. Jesus Christ. How many bodies do you think there is in here? <sighs> About to be one more. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you smell just like the other <laughs> Okay, we've got two rods in. We've got one sunken bread over there. We've got one weighted bread on this side. Uh, sorry, one unweighted bread floating on this side. Floating bread. Floating bread. Let's hope that a fish comes. Oh boy. Oh no! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> no! You have good eyes. <laughs> I did not see that. Oh. No! <laughs> Come <laughs> back! Friends. I want to play with you. Please! <sighs> Damn. Like, see you, sucker. So uncool. I saw you throw my friend to his death. <laughs> That one's a super dark tree snake. Usually a lot brighter than that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one's not. Uh, that one's not a tree snake. That one's a venomous snake. What is that? That's actually that may be a keelback, or that may be the snake that bit me. Actually, a rough scale. Oh damn. Yeah, not he's a nice like, snake. He, he sees you and he's like, oh my god. Do you know the difference between a keelback and a rough scale? It's one scale. Ugh. Are you a rough scale? Are you the one that got me, buddy? I think that one's a kill back, but I wouldn't touch it. What are you talking about? I was just gonna go pick it up. I was actually gonna jump in the That's water. exactly how I got bit. I, I thought it was a thought it was a kill back, but it was a rough scale. He's a cutie. So little. They are quite small. Oh my god, cute snake, and then you were like, oh my god, hospital. Ow, yeah, oh my god, cute snake, oh my god, I'm going to die now. <laughs> hey, little guy, what are you doing? It's pretty cool. He is not happy. He's not. Never been bitten by one of these. They do bite, apparently, but, uh,. He's so, he's so he cute. He's so cute though, isn't I know he? He's cute, but he's not happy. Look at him. No. He's like, put me the fuck down. Oh, that bright yellow belly. So cute. That gorgeous snake. I caught one last season that was totally blue. Really? Yeah, it was amazing. 
They smell horrible though. They smell. Nice, yeah, they smell fucking awful. He's like, I'm gonna dig away into the ground. You're not a. You you're not a digging snake. <laughs> He's like, nice yes, try. I'm. There you go, mates. Have a good one. Oh man, they smell bad. <laughs> the the, I think it's a turtle, honestly. The turtle's like, hell yeah, free bread. Yeah. And then we get that tiny cute one, no. What if it eats it? <laughs> I think it is, honestly. It's not big. That killback's still just sitting there. He's like, I'm waiting for you to jump on Chilling. Me. He's like, do it. Waiting for me to accurately identify him again so he can bite me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't think we'd catch anything. Oh. Well, there you go. It's not a horrible fish either. It's a horrible fishing spot. Oh, we did it today. Got her done. Snake and a fish. That's pretty cool. Got a snake. Yeah, we did. You can see one down there if you want to have a look at him. Seeing the weeds right in the corner there, little keelback. All right, goodbye, fishy. Letting him be free. Letting him be free oh, with no. a knife to the head. <laughs> You're killing him. <laughs> it's not legal not to. Oh, yeah. Is that the keelback or the yeah, tree snake? Oh, let's have a look at it. Sorry, fish. Made this mistake once. Let's make it again. <laughs> cool. He crawled out of the water. He's, he's probably tucked it behind. Oh, is he? Right yeah, yeah, right. It's close on one again. Yeah, it's not nice. Yeah, there's like a hole under there, it looks like. Yeah. Lots of ledges and shit under That's there. That's probably where they're laying as well. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Crazy shit, man. There's been snakes and fish and fucking all sorts, mate. And then there's that tiny little turtle that's sitting on that one little branch down there. It's true. I kind of want to catch him as well now. I just want to take him home, but also no. They're actually pretty, uh, pretty good to keep. I've heard. I was thinking about getting one. Oh no, like turtles. Yeah. yeah. I like fucking like pulled it straight out of the water. Like I didn't give it a chance to do it. Cause I actually lost one where I let it run for a little bit and it got in the weeds. This was like ages ago when I came here. Mm. Or a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, whatever. But yeah, today when you're just like, just fucking javelin that shit out of the That's water. That's exactly how you gotta do it. Because like the reeves, like the only way is to go. Whoa. Just gotta pull them out, out and up. Out. Up and out. out. And up, like a tooth. Like, like a tooth. Out a and up. So when you pull out your tooth, you hold it up to the sky. Like, fuck yeah, I did this. <laughs> Like, yeah, like when you rip off your toenails, I do that all the time. Wow. The whole thing, it's just like, oh, Dude, yeah. it's my favorite. You, know, you walk out into the lounge and you're just like, guys, look at this. I ripped off my toenail again. Oh, well done. <laughs> yeah. Guys, look, I ripped out my front tooth. <laughs> <laughs> what a great analogy. So fitting. I'm sure everyone in the audience can relate to this. It would be. I've always thought if I was getting tortured, I, what, okay, if you're getting tortured, right, say you're a fucking, say your life takes a drastic turn and you become a spy for our country and you get caught in Russia and you're getting tortured, would you rather have someone rip off your toenail or rip out a tooth with pliers? Your toenail, it's going to grow back. My tooth won't grow back. I feel like a toenail, the toenail would hurt more though. Oh, who gives a fuck? But, okay, you know, you, those, but you know when you get those, you know when you get those little, who says you're going to survive? You're, you're, you're caught by Russians, you're, you're going to die. You're not a shark. But you've it's been caught gonna, by the Russians. No, it's not like they're going to no. rip off your toenail, but well, okay, back why? on your way. Well then why the fuck would they not just rip out both? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, yeah. let's just say they give you an option and they're very <laughs> trustworthy Russian spies. So what, they're going to let me go after this? Well, yeah. Well, say, okay, you give them all the information straight away. You just spill your beans, right? And then they're like, all right, we still have to do some torture. Like this, the Putin we, we says the that we... We the torture room. We exactly. got to do it. We rented it. So you it. get to choose <laughs> tooth or toenail. I would I'm still mm. picking fucking toenail because it can grow back. But I, it would hurt. My okay, toenail do you know how bad that shit hurts when you get those little, like... Do you know how bad it hurts mm. when you get your hand sewn at door and it actually falls off on its own? When you get what? Oh, if you, so if you get enough trauma to your actual fingernail... It'll turn red underneath and then it'll fall off and grow back. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So like, nah, I least... can't. I'm gonna have to go with tooth. Fucks, man. 
Fish hate. Do you remember Metalocalypse? Yes, the oh best show. God. I wish they put that shit on Netflix. Fuck yeah. That's still one of my favourite shows of all time. Archer. Archer is great. The new season sucked though. Here we go. Oh, Here really? we go. One Have you seen the new season? Is that the one where they're in space? Well, I've got uh, some stuff. Hmm. This is. This is what I wanted. This is a fish of a lifetime, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. It's coming. <laughs> oh, no. Feels bad. Oh, no. Feels bad. Oh, no, it's gotten away. There was no fish. No, something just went. It was just sticks, bro. It was no fish, straight oh, really? up. Nah. Fucking hell. <laughs> You're fucking easy to fool, oh. man. Yeah, so, um, yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Um, the bread is, uh, nothing's taken the bread in a little while. I just remembered. I had to kind of vamp for a second while I got my train of thought back, but, uh, yeah, things have been a bit quiet recently. Did have something look at that, but, uh, I just hooked some sticks and then lost my leader, so a bit, a bit salty. We'll probably stay for a little bit longer, maybe try and get one more, but, uh, all in all, Snake was pretty cool. Snake was my favourite part. He was a cutie. I actually, that's the first green tree snake I've caught this season, guys, and I'm a snake catcher. I've been catching a shit ton of carpet pythons, a few whip snakes, um, what else? A couple crowned snakes, red bellies and shit, but no green trees for me yet this season. My old man's caught a few, so it was good to catch one. It was pretty neat. Can you see bread anywhere? There is no bread. There's no bread? Is there a fish? Oh, the line is tangled around everything. Let down. Oh. You should just drop it right here. Let down. I'm worried about catching the turtle though. Oh shit, oh, <laughs> nearly died. Hey, Would you have come in to save me? <sighs> wow, okay, the fact you had to think about it makes me very... No, just There's a the turtle. Snakes. I just saw him. Yeah, he's like, feed me a piece of hook. Please. <laughs> yes, as we know. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> 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 I'm recording. No, I don't. I never did that. <laughs> I love reptiles. <laughs> Little things, little ear pods, air pods. Well, ear pods that like, AirPods. you know, listen in on ah, conversations. Ah, right spy pods. Spy pods. Indeed. Anyway, I do hope everyone enjoyed that episode. I have 14% battery. Good God. I forgot that I filmed all that shit with uh, Old Mate earlier. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Caught a snake and a fish. Which was your favorite? The snake. Yeah, same. Snake. It was cute, even though it smelled like shit. And now my hands smell awful. But the snake was cool. We did get a fish. Um, and your tactic of pulling the fish out was just pretty rip useful, just water. rip that fucking thing out of it, I don't give it a chance. So, uh, it glad that worked chance. with six pound leader. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, I'll catch you in the next one. And, uh, my song of the day is going to be, uh, a new band I'm listening to right now actually, called, uh, Short Bus Pile Up. I know it's an awful name for a band, but they're pretty sweet, so give them a, give them a check. The song is Appeasing the Butcher, and I hope you guys enjoy the outro. I'll catch you in the next episode of Fisherman's Diary.